Hey, hey, another week of streak training. I think I've been talking about uh, this one coming for a little while, kind of that balance of intensity meets volume uh, with the amount of volume work I've been doing the last six months. The thing is, I, I felt great, but as I've ramped those up, you know, there's been uh, kind of some edges around the, the, the boundaries, you know, creeping up and saying, hey, let's be a little careful, let's be a little careful here. And uh, you've got to listen to those signals. And I've been talking about, you know, how I'm going to have to, to mix those. And so now I'm starting to put that in place. And for me, like, the really heavy stretch that's got to go on on my sumo pole, the really tight get in position, um, puts, puts, pretty, puts a pretty heavy load on my body, particularly the groin where I've had some issues before. And then to follow that even, you know, the next week, with a heavy eccentric load on the squat definitely causes me some issues. So where I've been planning on going is, is I ramp up the, the intensity with the volume is to keep the, the volume pretty high uh, as I've been doing. Um, but to have one week of being a heavy training week and then, a, and then a lighter week as far as the intensity. And what that allowed me to do is squat first, then deadlift uh, in the same week but then that gives me a full week and a half of recovery time before I go back into squatting again heavy after the deadlift. And that seems to be kind of the injury mechanism for me. So anyway, that, that uh, put that into place this week. So um, I, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I had a heavy sumo pull. I did uh, rack pulls uh, the week prior, which doesn't have the same effect on me. Um, but I still wasn't 100% on the squat, so I did keep it lighter on the squat this week. Did some rack pulls again, and actually tapered a little bit of my training out um, towards the end of the week. Uh, anyway, so it was just a little bit of a lighter week on the bench. Still benching with the duffalo bar, feeling fabulous. If you haven't watched my video detailing why, it's a great uh, tool for that. You should, because if you're watching, you're seeing that my bench is moving again, which is a good thing. But um, I backed it down, so the week prior I did 470 for some singles, so I took it down to 420. Uh, did uh, three sets of four reps on that this week. Get a little bit more volume in there, um, not quite as heavy. We'll see where we take that in the following weeks. I am wanting to do a test at some point with the straight bar since it's been a couple months on the, uh, the duffalo bar and see where that's at. So, did kind of try to make a big run at a pretty good rack pull this week. It felt like it was going to be a good one, but didn't happen, and uh, that's where I took it easy from that. So uh, be on the lookout this next week for, for some big lifts coming in. That's the plan. That's where we should be going. Given I get a damn belt to lift with, I get tired of these prongs flipping off my, my levers, which I've always dealt with for years. I got three, another one at home. Uh, I always end up just buying another one because I'm too lazy to wait on... Uh, Inzer because they want you to ship their old one back and go through some rig and roll to get a replacement But uh, I'm not a big proponent of wearing the belt super tight if you guys don't know that uh, It shouldn't be cranked so bad. It's pulling your stomach in um, So when you see this happening, it's not because it's getting ratcheted that tight But just the amount and quality of that uh, intra-abdominal pressurization boom, As you go into the squat is going to create that pressure as you drive the belt out but you never want your belt cranked so tight that it's sucking you in because as soon as you get to that point, you can't actually poof, engage against it. So anyway, just some random tips this week and uh, hopefully I'll get something figured out on this. I've also been planning on making my own for a long time, which is why I've got some of these old ones here, but eh, you know, that whole time thing. So enjoy the training log this week. So here we go with 615 on the bar and uh, 300 in chains and moved pretty good but again just didn't feel like I was 100% yet so decided to uh, call it there uh, for the week for squatting. On Wednesday for benching did uh, three sets of four well actually you can see here on the third set I actually didn't get my last rep um, but uh, we've got uh, 420 on the duffalo bar here. And there we go, there's our miss. And then, is it the end of the week? Uh, where I tried to do the 1050 uh, rack pull, and no go.
you'd like to support the production of further content and maximize your athletic performance, check out kabukistrength.net. Our goal is to provide you with the tools and the methods to maximize your performance. There's constantly adding new products to our site, so please check it out. All that's left is for you to bring the attitude.